us. <laughs> we work incredibly hard for this production, cast crew, the whole entire team, and we get really distracted by light in general. We will have our lights and sounds. Please put these things away. Uh, thank you all for coming to the show. I hope you enjoy. So without further ado, here's the tale of Juliet and her little Romeo. <laughs> Shall get along with me. I want you. 
you. Come you this afternoon to know our further pleasure in this case. Once more. On pain of death. Or men depart. Who set this ancient quarrel to approach? Nice, we drive them again. You were the servant of your adversary, and yours was my near idea approach. I drew the part from you. And the instant came to fire and civil, a knife prepared until the princess came to fire that Oh, where is Romeo? Saw you him today. Right glad I am for this not of the spray. Now, now we're before the worship sun, here forth the golden wind of the east, underneath the grove of sand, where I am. And the sure is affections by my own that most are busy, and most alone. Pursued by you are not pursuing his, and gladly shot to gladly fled. Ah, many a morning happy have been seen, with tears augmenting the fresh morning dew. Black and portentous must this humor prove unless good counsel and the cause of you. My noble uncle, do you know the cause? I neither know it nor can know it then. Have you ever to him by me? Both by myself and many other friends, but he, his own affections, counselors to himself. Could we but learn from whence his sorrows grow, we would as willingly be pure as hell. See where he comes, so please be satisfied. I'll know his grievance and be much in time. I would thou wert so happy by that state to hear true strength. Come, madam, let's away. Marcus! Is the day so young? The news struck down. I mean, sad hour I sleep long. Is that my father not on pencil about? It was. But sadness lengthens Romeo's hours. Not having that which having is from short. In love, out of love. Out of her favor where I am in love. Alas, that love whose view is muffled still should without eyes see pathways to him. Where shall we now? I be what friend was he? Yet tell me not, for I have heard it all. Here's much to do with hate, but more with love. This love feel I from the love in this. Dost thou not laugh? No, because I rather be. Good heart, at once. And thy good heart is a passion. Why, such is love's transgression. Love is a smoke raised with a fume of sighs, a fire sparkling. Lover's eyes. What is it else? Madness most discreet, a choking gall of preserving sweet. Farewell, my friends. Soft, I will go on. And if you leave me so, you do me wrong. But I have lost myself. Romeo is not here. I am some other way. Tell me in sadness, who is that you know? What shall I groan and tell thee? Groan, my noble, but sadly. Tell me who. The sick man in sadness. In sadness, cousin, I do love a woman. I am so near when I suppose you love. I like your mark here. She's fair. The right fair mark, fair cuz, is soon as And in that hit, you miss. She will not be hit with Cupid's arrow, she hath thy hand to it. So she was going to still look chaste? She hath, and in that spare, it makes huge waste. And here I am dead that lives to tell of that. You ruled by me, forget to think of her. Oh, teach me, cause that I should forget to think. By giving liberty unto thine eyes, examine other beauties. Show me a mistress that's passing fair. What doth her beauty serve but as a note where I may read who passed that passing fair? Farewell, thou canst not teach me to forget. I'll be the doctrine for us dying yet. Farewell, The months use bound as well as I, penalty alike, and tis not our ethic for men so old as we to keep the peace. Of honorable reckoning are you both, and pity is the human God so old. But now, my lord, what say you, my sister? My child is yet a stranger to this world. She hath not yet seen the change of eighteen years. Let two more sons wither in their pride, or we may think her right to be a bride. Younger than she are happy mothers many, and too soon marred are those so early made. Her, gentle Paris. Get her heart. My will to her consent to the part. Tonight, I hold an old accustomed feast which I have invited many a guest. Come, go with me. Go to the rock, church about the fair Verona, and find these persons' hours names are written here. And to them say, my house and welcome on their pleasure stay. I can't fucking read. <laughs>
And your plain thing is excellent. For what? For your broken shoes. Why are you a madman? Not mad. A bound more than a madman is. Show up in prison, kept without my food, whipped. Got that good fellow? Got it, you did. I pray, sir. I'm unfortunate in my business. Stay, oh, I can leave. Mercutio and his brother Valentine, my uncle Capulet, his wife and daughters, my parents, also. Olivia, Signor Valencia, and his cousin Tibbles, Lucio, and the lively Helena of Arisa, and whither should they come? Oh. In whose house? My master's. Indeed, I should have asked you that before. Sing in it should you burn in love to 
great oppression for such a tender thing. If love a tender thing, it is too rough, too rude, too boisterous. And it pricks my cold. Oh, the love be rough with you, be rough as well. <laughs> great love for pricking, and you beat love down. Give me a case to put my visit in. A visor for a visor. A torch. The game was never so fair and I'm done. Tuck comes the mouse, comes for one word. Come, we're daylight. Oh, nay, that's not so. I mean, sir, you delay. You waste our lights in vain like plants by day. Take our good meaning, for our judgment sits five times in that there will not my wits. We mean well, and it is not wit to go. Why? They will ask. I dreamt a dream to meet. So did I. What was yours? Often lie. They'd better sleep or they think it's true. I see only that. What the cheese of their bit And in this state, doubtless, night by night, in love with brains, they can dream of love. Or courtiers knees that dream of curse and straight. Lawyers fingers that dream of straight like bees. Ladies lips that straight from kisses dream. Which the angry mouth has played with blister before their lips are speaking into all. Sometimes she will appear uh, under a courtier's nose, and the next day in dreams he comes smelling out of her suit. Sometimes she will hear with a tied pig's tail and tickle herself under a parson's nose, and the next day in dreams he of another benefice. This is the very man that plants the men to horses in the night. This is she! Peace! Peace, Mercutio, peace. I'm toxic now. True! I'm talking of dreams. Which is the children of idle brains beyond nothing but vain fantasies. Which is lacking of substance of the air and direction of the wind, which to this day moves the frigid bosom in the north. This wind you speak of blows us from ourselves. Supper is done and we shall arrive too late. Nay, I fear too early, for my mind must give some consequence, yet meeting in the stars shall early begin this year. But he that hath the steerage of my course, direct my set. On, lusty gentlemen. Thank you. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> 
I am fain with my oblivious hand this gentle shrine. The gentle finds this. My lips from blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with tender pity. Did pilgrim you wrong your hand too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this? <laughs> For saints have hands that pilgrims do touch, and palm to palm is holy palm is his. Have not saints lips and holy palmers too? I call them lips they must use in prayer. Uh, then, dear saint, that lips do what hands do. They pray. Grant thou as a maiden church in despair. Saints do not move the grant of the prayers. Then move not, while my prayers in fact I take you. Thus from my lips, by yours, my sins purge. Have my lips the sin that they have took? Sin from thy lips? Oh, trespass sweetly urged, give me my sin again. Nothing. 
What about that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. I am too old. It's not to me, she speaks. But the very stars in all the heavens, having some business to entreat her eyes to kindle in their spirits when they return. What if they were dead? They in their head. The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand? Oh, that I were glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. I need you. She speaks, so speak again, Garbage. Romeo. Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father, and refuse thy name. Lord, thou wilt not, but be sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Catholic. Should I hear more, shall I speak of this? It is but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, but not. Montague. What's a Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. It need some other name. What's in a name? What would you call a rose by any other name? It smells sweet. So Romeo would not be called to take that dear perfection to which it owes without that time. Good night indeed. If that I went to love thee. 
honorable, I purpose marriage, and send me word tomorrow by one that I'll procure to come to thee where and what time thou wilt perform the right. And all my fortune at thy foot I'll lay, follow me, my lord, your Madam,
challenge in my life. You will answer it. Alas, poor Romeo. He's already dead. Stabbed with the white light his black eyes, shut with the ear with a love song. Now he is man to account for Tibbles. Why was Tibbles? Oh, you prince of cats, I assure you. Uh, she's the very butcher of the silk button. A duelist. A duelist, a gentleman of the very first house to hide. What? Yes, you were very good play. A uh, very tall woman. Here comes Romeo. Here comes Romeo. Let's go. It's right there. <laughs> Flesh. Flesh of power. The singer Romeo, bonjour! You gave us a counterfeit fairly last night. Tomorrow to you both. What counterfeit did I give you? Pardon the Mercutio, but my business is great. In such a case as mine, I manage straight hers. Say, in the case of yours, make it straight and to bow at the hands. We can do courtesy. I was most kindly hit it. Most courteous exposition. And I am a very pink of courtesy. Pink for flower, I lend my comfort. Well, it's okay. Uh, a couple of females go to the only other moment's face. Stop there. Stop there. Here's good figure.
Where is my mother? Why, she's there. Where else should she be? How are you having clients? You look so sick and out of shape. Where is your mother? <laughs> Well, she gone? Uh, nothing? Oh, no, no, 
Okay. 
She says nothing. Weeps, weeps, and then down falls on her bed and starts up again and until it falls and then Romeo cries. As if it be shut in the chimney, the whole of the girl. She loved her to and Tybalt dearly, and so did I. Well, we were born to die. It's very late, she'll not come down tonight. I promise you, with the company, I would have been in bed an hour ago. It's time to blow a or no time to poop. Um, good night. Can I meet your daughter? I will, and no her mind early tomorrow. Tonight she is. You don't know, her head.
und Fricks an.
Amen. <laughs> what? Well, thou hast comforted me marvelously much. Go away and tell my mother I've gone, having displeased my father to cry himself to make confession and be absolved. I will tell them as much, and this is wisely done. Ancient damnation. Oh, most wicked thing! Go, counselor! Thou, my bosom has for it, shall be in twain. Up to the fire cell to know her remedy. If all else fail, myself no power to die. On Thursday, sir? The time is very short. My father capital will have to sew. I knew nothing so besides things. You say no more than it's mine? And even this is course. I like it not. Moderately, she weeps for full death. Therefore have I little talk with love. Now, madam, her father counts it dangerous that she doth give her sorrow so much sway, and in his wisdom hastes our marriage. I would I need not my choice. Oh. Look, sir, here comes the lady towards myself. Happily met, my lady and my wife. That may be, sir, and any be your wife. That may be must be love on Thursday nights. What must be shall be. Can you make confession to the scribe? Or soul? The face of most people. Tears of that small victory by that, but it was bad enough for the respect. Are you having to now cry or should it come to an evening mass? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to leave your service to me now, handsome daughter. My lord, we must do this kind of love. God shield us at the spirit of devotion. Shut the door. And when thou hast done so, we would be here. Pest help, pest here, pest help. Tell me how the fire had hurts to this, and let's not tell me how I made you revenge it. Oh, I need a present counsel. Be not so long to speak, or I am allowed to die if you speak, speak not properly. Hold, daughter. I do spy a kind of hope that is, which is as desperate as that which we would prevent. If, rather than to marry County Harris, thou is a strength of will to slay thyself, if thou darest, I'll give thee remedy. Bid me leave, rather than marry Harris. <coughs> Go home, be married, and consent to marry Paris. Wednesday is tomorrow. Tomorrow when I look at thy life, but not my nine years lie with me in my chamber. Take thou this vial, and being then in bed, and this distilled liquor, drink thou all. No warmth, no breath shall testify to thy limits, and in this borrowed likeness of shrunk death that shall last two and forty hours, and then awake as it from a present pleasant sleep. Now, when the bridegroom comes in the morning to rouse thee from thy bed, there art thou dead. In the meantime, against thou shalt be, shall bring me by my letters no return, and hither shall we come, and he and I have watched thy day, and that very night shall bring me very insubstantial, and this shall free thee from thy present shame. Give me, give me, tell me not of fear. I will send the servant to speak to the angel. Love and peace for him. The strings will not pour. Do fire. Farewell. Oh, my God. 
Well, send for the county. Go tell them this. We viewed the Lord and Lord's cell, where I gave him what came love I might to not step the bonds of Bob's gave Honest nurse, if you come with me to my thoughts, I'll tell you sort of such needful ornaments as you see fit to grudge you on. Go, nurse, go for it. Go to church tomorrow.
bring Juliet forth. Her lord is come. Let's see for minutes. 
and remember an apothecary and hear about his heat levels. If a man can be a poison now, who sailed in the presence of Emmanuel, here lives a caitiff wretch with selling him. The same thought did but run my knee, and the same needy man must sell it. What ho! A planetary! Come hither, man. See that thou art poor. Hold, there is forty ducats. Give me a drowned poison, such soon speeding gear as will disperse itself through all the veins that the light we be taken. Such mortal drugs I have. Momentous wise, death to any he that others from me. My poverty, but not my will, consents. I pay thy poverty. Not thy There is thy gold. Worse poison to men's souls, causing more murders in this lonesome world than these poor crap Farewell. Buy food and get thyself in flesh. <coughs> Come, forge me and not force me. Go with me to Juliet's grave. For there must I. Sweet flower. Flower is like a pastor. Oh, whoa. The canopy is dust and stone. What curse still wanders here tonight? Cross my obstacles, the truth comes right. Hold, take out the step. Early in the morning, see out to the French, my poor father. Why I descend into this bed of death, it's part of what hold my lady's face. She can be to take from her dead figure a precious ring. And for farewell, time in my intense, a savage wild, more fierce and more inexorable, far than empty tigers or other rogues. I'd be gone, so I'm not sure. So shalt thou show me fresh. Take thou that. Farewell.
this. This is that vanished party money. Who killed my mother's cousin? With which grief we suppose the fair creature died. I will have him. Stop that out of toil by all that's you. Convention to be pursued, murdered, and death. Condemned to murder, I do apprehend thee. Obey and go with me. Thou must die. Indeed I must. And therefore keep my head. Leave me and go hence. Put out another sin upon my head. I urge thee to fear thee. I have been, I love thee better than I love myself. I do defy thy conjurations. Apprehend thee for a felon. Must thou tempt me? And have it, boy! Beauty makes this fault a feasting presence full of life. Oh, my lady, my wife, <laughs> Auntie Juliet, how have I been so bad? Never from this house of dim night. Shall I ever depart again? Here I will remain to shake the yoke of inauspicious stars from this world we have left. Thank you. 
this my Lord. Um, remember well where I should be, and here I am. Yes, I know me. Maybe come from that mess of death, the danger, and the natural sin. My husband, in my bosom, there lies that. This is the place! There! The torch not burn! What misadventure is so early up that calls our person from our morning rest? Shit, so shit. they so shit of all. The people in the street cried Paris, some Romeo and some Juliet, and all about the open outcry for our monument.
what my last user to be at that that in post, he came here from Matra, to the same place, to the same building. This letter, he only went to give his father. This letter doth make good the friar's words. Where be these enemies? Capulet, Montague, see what a scourge is laid upon your head, that heaven find means to kill your joy for blood. And I, for winking at your discords too, have lost the grace of kinsmen. All are punished. Come, brother Montague, give me thy hand. This is my daughter's torture, for no more can I demand. But I can give thee more, for I will raise her stature in pure gold. And while Verona by that name is known, there shall not figure and separate these sexes after the true and faithful of the end. And his rich shall all be alike as name is lie. For the sacrifices of our enemy. And bring him peace this morning with the friends. The sun also will not show his hand. But never was there a story of more than this of Juliet and her Romeo.